Okay, so before we get into common network protocols, I thought it would be smart to talk about the two types of internet protocol traffic that these common network protocols are going to run over. And I'm just gonna type these off for you. So there is TCP and there's UDP. And there's some slight differences between the two. Um, so TCP is transmission control protocol where UDP is the user datagram protocol. And when we talk about the differences, we talk about TCP and TCP is connection oriented. That means it has to connect to something. Um, and it is uh, more suited for an application that has high reliability. So if you're thinking of internet traffic, like if you're going out to a website, HTTP, that's going to use TCP. Uh, a file connection like FTP, that's going to use uh, TCP protocol. So is Telnet. When you connect to a Telnet server, that's going to use a TCP protocol because you're connecting. Um, but UDP is actually connectionless. So UDP is just for something, uh, for an application that needs a fast connection. Like if we talk about DNS, DHCP, SNMP, you might not know what those are right now. And we'll talk about them in the next video, but we don't need a connection for those. We just need, uh, we just need something fast. And there's no handshake. So when we talk about a handshake, the only thing that has a handshake is TCP. And you're going to hear about the three-way handshake over and over and over again. And you might even be asked to explain this in an interview at some point in your career. So when we talk about the TCP handshake, I kind of want to demonstrate what it looks like. Um, before I do, I can draw it out for you or at least map it out for you. So what happens is uh, when a computer wants to establish a connection with another computer, it sends something called a SYN packet. So it says, since the SYN packet says, hey, I want to connect to you. And the machine responds back to that. It says, okay, I see your SYN packet and I acknowledge it, meaning, okay, I want to connect to you too. And then finally, the machine will send back acknowledged, meaning they both connected. So this can, uh, this can look pretty easy here when we put it into Wireshark and Wireshark is a uh, packet capture tool which we're going to cover later in the course but you're going to see me use it a few times to demonstrate how traffic is captured. So I'm going to type in Wireshark with the ampersand and that's going to allow us to run it in a GUI form um, and keep this terminal open. So go ahead and type that in too. I want you to run it with me. Ignore this error. It's just because we're running it as root. That's fine. So it's asking us here, okay, what interface do we want to capture? I'm just going to capture any traffic that I send over this Ethernet zero interface. And I'm going to just start my capture here. A lot of stuff's going to start flying through. What I want to do is I actually want to open up Firefox. And that just sent a bunch of stuff through because we're actually connected to the internet. I'm just going to type in Google here. Okay, and now let's stop it. There is... Look at all this traffic that just came through that fast. Okay, so let's full screen this. I'm going to type in TCP as a filter. And let's scroll down to the bottom here. Uh, let's see if I can find it. So these are SYN. Let's try to find the first SYN packet. So this is me trying to go out here. Oops. So if we scroll up just a tad. Okay. So here we go. So from my source computer, this is my IP address, 192.168.134.164 to destination 172.217.2.14. I sent a TCP packet. And over that TCP packet, I said, hey, I want to connect to you. And here's the SYN, re SYN request right here. And then they responded back to me. And these are ports right here, 443 being the port for HTTPS because Google runs on HTTPS. Um, and this is the port my computer decided to open up. It chooses a random high port usually for web address traffic. So I sent it over that port. I said, hey, on this port, I want to connect to you. This guy came back to me and he said, hey, you, um, I will allow that connection on 443 over your port. So here's a SYN acknowledgement. Okay. And I say back to him, all right, I acknowledge that. So understanding the basics of how this works, 
is really important. And you see, we get the hello here. Once everything's good, hi, we're here, right? So this becomes important when you start getting into scanning. Now there's different types of, um, of flags that can be set. So each one of these are flags, sends a flag, acts a flag. And there's like, for example, something called stealth scanning when we get into Nmap. Well, when we send traffic to to ports and we're trying to scan out and see if a computer has a particular port open, um, what we might do is we might send a SYN packet and it might acknowledge back and then we just don't send anything back to connect to it. Instead, we just send a reset uh, and that's called stealth scanning and something we'll get into a little bit later. But there's different variations of the three-way handshake and different versions of scanning that we can use to try to bypass firewalls and try to get information that typically we wouldn't be able to receive because a lot of firewalls have this kind of traffic blocked automatically or when it sees a, a good number of these coming across the wire. So this is what a TCP connection looks like. You Again, you see the SYN, the SYNAC, and the ACK. So if anybody ever asks you, what is the TCP handshake, you should be able to say, hey, it's SYN, SYNAC, ACK, and be able to explain it just kind of like this. Any connection that you make to a port that is connection-oriented is going to cover over TCP. And remember that TCP, again, connection-oriented, and it is for applications that have high reliability. So the internet needs high reliability. File transfer protocol needs high reliability. Where UDP is connectionless, there's no handshake, and it's just for applications that need a uh, fast connection. You might see like a network time protocol, uh, UDP port 123. So things like that to think about where there doesn't need to be a connection to it. It just needs a fast connection on its end. Um, so now that I've explained TCP and UDP to you, we can start looking at common network protocols and kind of think about when you see these protocols, hey, is that TCP or is that UDP or or what? So let's go ahead and uh, talk about those and I'll catch you over at the next video.